So I just released my Citizen Soldier tattoo reaction. Sit down to do some work. And I see they've released another song, just literally as I was sitting down. And it's called Everybody Hates You. And this is the official lyric video. So I, th I thought, I've got everything set up. Might as well just um, react to it. Listen to it now, straight away. What do you think? I hope that's okay. So let's go for it. Everybody hates you. Oh, this is quite heavy. My middle name is Nervous Breakdown I sure could use a friend Cheaper than Vicodin Fake lives, fake love Got money but I still feel bankrupt It's so hard to fit in When there's no oxygen What the hell is wrong That's with it. me? That's an interesting line Fake lives, fake love I've got money but I still feel bankrupt You know, I love that line Sounds cliched, but money doesn't buy you happiness. Usually in my experience, it just buys you more ways of distracting yourself. But eventually that doesn't work anymore. And you start to feel like crap again. Fake love, got money, but I still feel bankrupt. It's so hard to fit in when there's no oxygen. What the hell? Right, just before we get to what I assume is going to be the bridge, which are usually pretty cool from my experience so far of what I've heard from Citizen Soldier, that chorus, loser, you've got no friends, uh, nobody gives a damn, because everybody hates you, please just go home, because you're going to die alone, because everybody hates you. Oh, I've got so much to say about this, and there's videos on my therapy channel, link in the description below, shameless plug about managing thoughts or how to manage unwanted, unpleasant, horrible, nasty thoughts. But very quickly, there's a few thoughts that come immediately uh, to my mind. Uh, first one, maybe you have um, experience of people telling you they actually hate you. Those words have actually come out of people's mouths directly to you. So this isn't an interpretation you have made. These are things that have actually been said to you. And if that's the case, those people aren't your friends. Those people are dickheads. You don't want them to be your friends. And there are people out there who could be your friends. Okay, I'm not saying it's easy to find them. And it's, I'm not saying it's easy to put yourself out there to try to find them because it's massively anxiety provoking, but I am saying it is possible. Secondly, maybe your mind is giving you thoughts that people hate you, but you haven't directly experienced it with every person that you have met. And perhaps it's becoming a bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy. 
So you have it in your mind that people won't like you. You specific, you specifically look out for things that indicate that people don't like you. You focus on those things and then you conclude that people don't like you. Very common in social anxiety where the focus of attention is completely out of whack. It's normally completely kind of on, on yourself and how you're feeling. The mind generates thoughts to try and keep you safe. That's its mission, to keep you safe. If you've got close to someone before and they've let you down and that was really painful for you, then the mind will say, don't get close to anyone again. Therefore, you don't have to feel that pain again. Obviously, it's not a very good long-term strategy in terms of making connections, but in the short term, it tries to keep you safe. Your mind is doing its job, but you don't always have to listen to your mind or to your thoughts. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe the thoughts aren't even your own thoughts. Well, I mean, they're in your head, but they're not your voice, and they're the voice of some sort of abusive person from your life. And you can hear that going round and round and round. So it's a, it's a trauma response. Maybe your neurodivergence, so the actual skill of socialising is very difficult for you. And you think you'll never have friends or social connections because of that. But again, there is a tribe out there for you. There's so much to potentially unpick here. I, I could sit here all day and talk about all the different reasons why this might be happening to someone. But we have a song to listen to. So it pretty much just summed up some of the things I said there. The mind is saying, what are they saying about me? Are my friends pretending? I keep obsessing, mean playing it round and round and asking the questions over and over again. Where well, your mind is like, are they just pretending to like me? Do they really? Maybe they're just too polite to tell me to piss off. It's really hard to stop your mind from saying that. And you can tie yourself in knots with this stuff going round, you know, or if you try to use simple CBT techniques like evidence for that thought and evidence against that thought, because I bet you could find evidence both ways. You're going to tie yourself up in knots. You're going to go round in circles. And then that just leads to more frustration. The smartest thing to do, well, it's not the smartest thing. I misspoke there. It's not the smartest thing. One thing that could be helpful is, is to be willing to have those thoughts in your head whilst pursuing the thing that matters the most to you. You know, the very fact that you are worried about what people think about you tells you that there is something there that you care about. Otherwise, you wouldn't be worried about it. So there's a clue there about social connection actually being important to you. So you might think, you might kind of try to stray away from it because it causes you so much pain and so much anxiety but the fact it actually causes you that pain means that it's important to you sounds a bit paradoxical i think just projecting can't stop but keep obsessing over and over again somebody just make it end all i lose are you've got no friends nobody gives a damn Please just go home, you're gonna die alone Cause everybody hates you I hear that at the end where it's like, everybody hates you. It's like the voice inside your head. That's what it's like. 
that kind of slight whisper, or maybe it's not always a whisper, sometimes it's a proper shout. Well, that rocked. Thinking back to what I said earlier, I hope it made sense and didn't come across as um, dismissive at all. That, that wasn't my intention if it did. What I was trying to get at is that we all have unique and individual reasons of why we might be experiencing this. And because of that, it can be really hard for other people to understand what it's like and what's going on for you and therefore um, how to try and help you and support you. And, you know, because they can't really understand their experience, your experience. But I think this song sums it up really well of what that experience is like in terms of my own experience of thoughts I don't really want. And in terms of what clients have told me and explained what their experience is like. Um, I think this this sums it up really well. And I think a lot of people are going to relate to this. Well done again, Citizen Soldier great track this was just a quick one from me as i happened um to be about as it came out i hope that's okay double bubble for you today double bubble of citizen soldier take care everyone goodbye